Speaking of shops though, I think it's time for me to show you the reveal that Sim Guru Tater Tot hinted at at Twitter. This is our venue! Our special venue that comes with the gold edition of Midnight Hollow. This is the Golden Ticket Toy Factory. Oh, toy shop. I'm sorry. It's a shop. <laughs> <laughs> Not a factory. Not a factory. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it's a really fantastic toy store. Uh, we came up with a theme because we wanted to bring toy making back from The Sims 2. It was a longtime favorite and really, you can never have enough toys. So out here we have our, yes, it's a faux carousel, but this is a brand new Spring Rider um, that comes together in actually a really brilliant way. Again, the same world builder who, uh, who made the Uber rabbit hole made this ingenious carousel. He is brilliant. Uh, we also have our Nutcracker and our Creepy Doll. This doll is especially creepy. Uh, but they are on a custom checkerboard. <laughs> it will not play checkers. This is just for fiction. <laughs> oh, no, they're <laughs> like, not creepy at all. <laughs> don't expect them to move without you. That would be really frightening. Uh, here's the playland that your kids can come. We really just wanted to create a place for kids. And some of our other venues, we have a space for uh, adults, you know, like the gym in the corner or a bar upstairs. Not this time. This time we wanted it entirely for kids. So let's actually have all of Quilmer just so she can hang out at the store. Uh, and this also is the very, very first time that we've ever released a venue on The Sims 3 store that includes the premium content from the world. So this venue actually has the premium content for the world built in it. We've never done this before, mm -hmm. but we could not pass up the opportunity to take this toy factory into a toy store. A toy store. Yes. <laughs> so this is laid out with all of our dense shelves. Let me actually... You guys know that I don't play walls up, but we should anyway, because this is absolutely wonderfully done. Um, the decor is perfect in here, another little playland, and we have a ton of new toys. So while it's, um, let's hire another sales clerk here, uh, with uh, some amazing new posters, lots of new toys, and lots of, this is just one example of what you can do with the Savvy Sellers Collection. We put it together with the toys and made a fantastic store out of it. Here you can see um, sort of like the workman's part. This is where you would imagine that uh, the crafters are handcrafting these gorgeous toys. But uh, not really. Because up here on the second floor you see that they are actually just toy machines. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Titanic toy machine which is the premium content that comes for the venue, not with the venue, because the venue has the world stuff too. Uh, but the Titanic toy machine is what will actually make all of these toys. We have baby bricks a lot, race car, drum, clown in a box, which you saw on the page in that scary screenshot. Mm -hmm. um, and some of these toys are actually um, little mini premium contents on their own. Like the kite has new gameplay, the baby playmat has new <laughs> gameplay, um, and the uh, the race car, I believe, is a remote car. Yes, I'm not pointing to the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and um, take a look. Let's see. I don't have a baby to show you the playmat. My toddler's a little too old. So let's... She's making the playmat, but afterwards I'm going to go ahead and have her make the uh, clown in a box so we can play with it and take a look. So she's made her play mat. It's it's ready to go. It pops right into her inventory. Uh, a couple of the right settings on the machine, and out pops your toy in a puff of smoke. Um, these are absolutely spectacular, and the toys that come out of them are amazing. And again, you know, change the textures, change the colors, make them what you will. Um, you can really create a customized store or just amazing toys for your children. Bye.